In this tutorial, we will see how to create a cluster using two instances of Senha Segura. First, you must go to the Orbit screen, and after that, go to the Replication Setting menu. On this screen, we will have the option to determine if Senha Segura is going to be in standalone or cluster operation. To set up a cluster, we should select the Cluster option and click on the button Enable Replication. After that, we must fill in the fields of the cluster members with the IPs of the nodes we are going to use. In my case, I will use only two nodes, so I will fill the data with the primary member and the additional member with the IPs of my Senha Segura instances. After filling out the fields, we should pay attention to the bottom of the configuration that shows the option to determine if members are in different data centers. In my case, I will not check this option, because the members of my cluster are on the same network. After adding the cluster members and determining the latency difference, just click Save in the main menu. Confirm the database restart and wait for the cluster configuration to be completed on this node. It is important to note that the Senha Segura cluster setup can take from 1 to 5 minutes for the database restart to complete. Therefore, you should wait a few moments until the configuration is complete and the cluster status screen is displayed on the node that was configured. After a few minutes, just refresh the configuration screen in the browser and you can see the status of the cluster configured on the main node. In our case, we have an application in contingency mode with the application active, the replication on, cluster activated and this instance will be the primary instance. Now just go to the secondary instance and perform the same configuration remembering to mark the IPs of the nodes that will be configured. To ensure the order of the clusters and the identification of the primary and secondary nodes, it is necessary that the configuration on the secondary nodes to be the same as the primary, as we have here in the example. After filling in the IPs, just click Save and then confirm the restart of the database, as we did in the main box. From now on, just wait for the sequence of minutes until the screen is presented as we saw in the main node.